Marshall hand in the air and it's a quick start from Shanky. Oh, what a flyer off the grid. And from the outside of the front row, the first of our Irishmen, Dennis Biggestaff, made a superb start as well, Alan. Well, Biggestaff is on good form today. He's so far the quickest uh, Irishman uh, in the first heats. He's been uh, very heavily pressured there by Bert Broden in his uh, Quattro S1. But uh, Biggestaff now beginning to pull away and impressively staying with Shevchenko, who is chucking that RS200 all over the place. The fourth man is Alistair Galloway in the Quattro. Yes, and Biggestaff isn't letting him get away. I don't think he can actually do anything about it, but he's not been lost. Shanky, very, very wild getting through the uh, the chicane there and still using a lot of tail out. But car bench, Den Dennis Biggestaff, the fastest Irishman so far, as Alan said, really carrying the flag there. Very, very quick through the chicane. You see the way he just doesn't lift. It's a lovely bit over there. But that's Martin Skanky in the RS200, the first of the fours that we've seen. And again, a little bit too tail. In fact, very sideways there. And that's scrubbing off his speed because when he hits got the a tarmac, puncher. He's got a puncher on the outside rear. Look. That's his problem. That's his problem with little puffs of smoke on the tarmac the last time. So it's not a steering. It's not oversteering for any suspension reason he's now still going very very quick indeed considering he's only got three wheels on his wagon could damage his suspension here on the rough taking it easy but one of those bumps could very easily do it he's going to make it to the flag but unfortunately will have slowed down his time and he won't have improved from the first one and out he goes in the most spectacular way and that's typical Schenker that I would say is engineered a little bit and bigger staff has just done the same thing